it is essential to have that distance to the chest because that will allow you for straight change. Hello and very warm welcome to another video. I'm Brando, EBSA Assistant Head Coach and World Snooker Coach. Your address position is essential for good king. Many details in your stance and bridge, bridge hand where you grip the cue can change that position and it is super important to have it spot on because it affects your cue action. Watch the video and you will see everything you need to know about the address position. There are many important elements in the address position and you have to start from the bridge distance. Remember that the maximum bridge distance is about 33 centimeters. Don't be longer than that. If you play on slower table, then you need longer bridge to be able uh, to do longer backswing. That will give you the power into the shot. Don't be longer than 33. My bridge distance is 25 centimeters. I play on pretty quick tables. I iron the table every day. I clean the balls every day. So that allows me to play on a quick table and I don't need very long bridge hand. That's why I'm playing with 25 centimeters. Some top professionals players are playing with even shorter bridge hand. So first check the distance between the bridge hand, the V of the bridge to the cue ball. Then you have to see how is your elbow of the bridge arm because if it's too much bent, it changes the distance from the grip to the chest. So have a look at it now. This is my bridge distance about 25 centimeters. This is my perfect address position. I have nice 15 centimeters to the chest, so I have enough room to follow through. If I bend my bridge arm, you can see how that changes the position of my queuing arm. If I straighten up my bridge arm, that again changes when I'm hitting the cue ball. It is important to remember what's the distance between the bridge to the cue ball and how much you bend your bridge arm. Then, of course, you need to check where to grip that cue. Remember that you need minimum 10 centimeters from the grip to the chest to allow yourself for a good follow through. I have about 15 centimeters and now you can see how I have enough room to follow through and to be able to produce the power into the shot. My advice is to keep your bridge hand shorter and to keep your elbow of the bridge arm slightly bent because that's, that usually helps to get the chest a little bit out of the way of the cue because I see many players with not very good stance, upper stance, that they don't have enough room from the cueing arm to the chest. They cannot follow through properly and usually that leads to a twitch. If you have less than 10 centimeters from your grip hand to the chest, for right-handed player, usually that means twitch to the left. So now I'm too short. My cueing arm is too close to the chest and that will not allow me to follow through straight because the, the hand wants to go around your chest. That leads to a twitch, unwanted side spin and you miss the ball. 